Welcome to our newly updated 2004 ServiceNow Fundamental Series. Jeff here from ServiceNow Simple, where we help you understand the ins and outs of ServiceNow with a focus on keeping things as simple as possible. And in this video, we're starting at the very beginning, answering the question, what is ServiceNow? Some keywords to look for in this video include, what is ServiceNow? Cloud-based, APAAS, development platform, single database, suite of applications, and enterprise-wide. As always, thanks for being part of the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Before we jump too deeply into the ins and outs of ServiceNow, we should talk briefly about what it is we're jumping into. What is this thing called ServiceNow? you think it'd be fairly simple, but it's actually sort of difficult to define. It's kind of like defining what an iPhone is. What is an iPhone? A telephone? A miniature computer? If you ask a photographer, they might say it's a handheld camera. And to a musician, it's a pocket-sized music library, a recording device. And to a teenager, an iPhone is a game console or a window into a world of social interactions. iPhone can mean lots of different things to different people. Same is true for ServiceNow. If you ask a customer service agent, they will likely tell you that ServiceNow is a ticketing tool, providing the ability to record and resolve customer requests and problems. Someone on the IT platform support team might define ServiceNow as a configuration management tool that keeps track of hardware and software infrastructure. And if you ask someone from the development team, well, they would say that ServiceNow is a cloud-based development environment and a set of tools for developing workflows that solve all sorts of business problems. Still others will tell you it's an enterprise database or a request catalog or knowledge management platform. And they'd all be right. It's hard to say in just a few words what ServiceNow is because ServiceNow can mean many different things to many different people with many different perspectives. By the way, we call those different perspectives personas in ServiceNow lingo. More on that later. For now, I think the best way to begin to understand what ServiceNow is, is to look at it from a platform perspective. Follow along with me. First, ServiceNow is a cloud-based technology platform. And that means that to use it, a company doesn't have to go out and buy a bunch of hardware and software. It's cloud-based. You simply connect via a web browser or a mobile device and you use it. It also means that you don't need to worry about things like platform scalability and security or load balancing or data backups. ServiceNow takes care of all of that infrastructure stuff for you, allowing you to focus on what you do best, which is your business. Okay, so what does this cloud-based technology platform do? Here's where things start to get interesting. It's kind of like ServiceNow went out into the world and visited thousands of companies across all sorts of different industries and locations. So they visit all of these companies and they took note of how IT was being used to solve their business problems and increase productivity. And they learned. They learned what worked well and they learned what didn't work so well. And they applied those lessons to develop a common platform for providing IT services. That's what ServiceNow is. It's a cloud-based technology platform that's built to deliver IT services based upon a whole bunch of best practices and lessons learned. For simplicity, I like to visualize the NOW platform as being made up of three parts. A database, a suite of applications, and a development platform. And in my opinion, by a large margin, the coolest, most important part of that platform is the database. And as you continue to learn about ServiceNow, you're likely going to hear someone say, pretty much everything in ServiceNow is just a record in a database table somewhere. And that's true. ServiceNow database is the architectural component that enables just about everything else in the platform. It comes out of box with one single enterprise-wide database consisting of over 4,000 tables that are designed and configured to work together and share data in support of the requirements of most common IT services. And then there's the applications. You can think of these as sort of like the apps on your iPhone, but on steroids built for solving mid to large size enterprise type business problems. Hundreds of applications come installed out of the box for doing things like asset management, application portfolio management, configuration management, 
security operations and IT service management and much, much more. Just like with an iPhone, companies can go to the ServiceNow store and browse hundreds of additional, more specific applications and plugins. They can purchase and download and implement into their ServiceNow platform. And finally, the ServiceNow platform includes a full service development environment, which allows for modifying those existing applications or building entirely new ones, custom applications on your own. It's possible after all, for your business to, le to need a solution to a specific business problem for which no out of box application exists. That's all good, just create your own solution using any of ServiceNow's no code, low code, or full code development tools. And remember, every application on the platform, whether out of box or custom, is running on top of that single enterprise-wide database we discussed earlier. And that's it for now. Next time someone asks you what is ServiceNow, just tell them it's a cloud-based technology platform consisting of a database and a suite of applications and a development platform that's designed for providing IT services that solve a company's business problems. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.